How to get hundreds of Persian cats in Adopt Me's Puss in Boots new update. The Persian cat is a brand new pet that just came into Adopt Me's new update for the Puss in Boots event. And players can not only claim one, they can claim an infinite amount of these pets for free. Today, I'm going to be showing you my technique on how I go and gain myself hundreds of the Persian cats for free every day. Which will go and make you one of the richest players in Adopt Me with some really rare event pets that will last forever. The quickest way to go and get to the event is by pressing teleports to the gift display. Once you press yes, you'll go and get located there. The event stand is over here. You can always go and grab yourself a toy such as a grappling hook to just go and grapple on over to go to get to the desired location. Once you're here, you'll see that there is a countdown for the event's game to go and begin. You need to wait until this countdown hits zero. But before you've gone and done that, you need to go and speak over to Puss in Boots to be able to go and play the games. If not, you literally won't be able to play at all. Hello there, it's me, the legendary Puss in Boots. Imagine if we got to keep Puss in Boots as a pet. Um, so there's a bunch of stuff that he talks about, telling us about nine lives, that they need a mission, and they need their items, and the hat, and without them, that they cannot go on the epic journey. So to go and get them, you just need to go and collect all of these items, which you can go and get in the mini game. They've buried their gear around. They have a glorious prize for the bravest to bring all five of the lost items. Luna has many cats and they have a forever home for you. Have the chance to adopt one for yourself. Once you've spoken to them, you can then go and join the queue for the Puss in Boots minigame. This event is available in Adopt Me for two weeks, so 13 days are left for you guys to go and join this Adopt Me event. The idea behind the game is to stand in the circle to join the queue for the minigame, where you have to find all five missing items to adopt a Persian cat. Players can also not go and trade these items in and keep them as a permanent petware, meaning if you want to go and collect petware and you don't want to go and get tons of ultra rare pets, then you could just go and collect a bunch of the boots or a bunch of the swords or a bunch of feathers and go and decorate your pet to look really cool for the event. However, if I was you, I'd be going and stocking up on the Persian cat as it's an ultra rare pet and people tend to go and trade more for pets compared to going and getting petware. You'll probably get some better values. Once this countdown goes and hits zero, you're going to have to go and locate the dig sites. These dig sites actually go and change location each time of the mini game. And once you go and head on over to the dig site, you can actually go and collect multiple items by going and digging it. So you want to go and make sure that you're one of the first players there to go and claim the most amount of these items before other players go and dig up the chest. So the quicker you are to go and get to the location, the more items you can go and start digging, which some players aren't really aware about that you can go and dig multiple times in the same location. And originally I was a bit silly and I didn't know that either. But no need to fear, there is a map which players can go and open. Once you go and click on the map, it will go and tell you the locations where all of these events are. So you go and click on one of these and it will actually go and direct you to the exact location that you need to go. So I'm gonna go and head over to the farm shop one as I'm pretty sure not many people should have been able to get there. I might be wrong, I can definitely see one player over there already. And by the time I get there, they could have literally gone and got every single item. So I guess it depends who's in your server, if your server's popular, if people know how to go and collect all of these items or not. But I'm pretty sure I should be able to go and get a few more items from here as this person doesn't seem to be going and claiming all of them so let's go and do this and see how many we can go and claim there was one time where i literally claimed like the whole section as no one was going and getting them so you definitely can go and collect a quick amount of these which is pretty handy and as you can see i'm going and getting a bunch of these items and you don't want to stop there what you want to go and do is just keep on digging so the more you dig the more you go and get and to dig you literally just walk up to it and press the dig button so there we go can i go and sneak an extra one in there we go so we got a couple more seconds left and we have dug up all of the ones that we could go and get and uh, i've just gone and opened 10 chests in this mini game which is enough to go and get myself two of the cats that's right i literally just got two cats in a minute which is kind of crazy that players can just go and get pets that quickly so you can get two ultra rare pets in literal like seconds which is kind of crazy because adopt me's never done an event where you can go and get really rare pets that quickly realistically i wasn't expecting the pet to be an ultra rare because adopt me never does like ultra rare pets 
for something like that so that's kind of crazy anyway we're gonna go and speak to them you can then go and give him all five items remember if you go and give all five items then you don't go and get to keep them as petware as well if you want to keep them as petware don't go and trade them in but for purposes of this video we're gonna go and trade them in so it says would you like to redeem your wishing star the boots the feather the hat and sword for another cat and just like so we now have ourselves an extra Persian cat and again since I literally collected 10 of those items two of each which was a very good coincidence I can go and speak to them again and go and claim it so make sure we go and do that and as you can see we now have another Persian cat and this is an ultra rare pet so if you ever see someone begging and adopt me saying that they're poor in the next two weeks just tell them to play this mini game and they will literally get an ultra rare pet which is kind of insane that players can go and get pets this quickly i don't think i've ever seen an update this crazy so yeah you can keep the pet wear the boots the hat and the other items go and dress up your pet and not gonna lie the persian cat with this outfit on it's a very nice combo outfit like it all goes well together it looks cool obviously there is also the feather and there's also the sword but i just went and traded them in to go and get more of these persian cats because they're pretty cool it's an event pet who doesn't love event pets i mean there's probably Probably not much rarity to them as of now but sure in the future people will go and trade some pretty decent stuff for them so as you can see we've already got like nine or ten of these pretty easily and it's a pretty good update I really wasn't expecting players to be able to go at multiple and the fact that it's an ultra rare is kind of insane because normally when Adopt Me gives us a free pet it's normally like an uncommon or a common to be honest so the fact that this is ultra rare is uh, definitely exciting. Then regarding it as a uh, neon or mega neon let's go and have a little look. Um, quite a lot of it actually glows neon which is definitely interesting to see. I really wasn't um, expecting that to glow neon like this whole body upper piece glows which is definitely an interesting section for a neon. Like, I don't think we've ever seen that as a neon pet before. Normally it's the underbellies and the face, not like the whole of this top part of the belly and also part of the tail glows neon, which again, this is a very interesting pet. And uh, it says I adopted my first pet. How many I've hatched? You can't hatch this pet. You adopt it, which is pretty cool. I played this update for about an hour and I seem to be getting a ton of boots. I've got about 13 and then 7 feathers and 4 swords so maybe some items are more common than the others. But I'm pretty glad that I'm able to go and claim a bunch of these pets relatively easily, go and trade for them and yeah it's kind of crazy that I can just go and do this go and claim a couple more of these cats by just pressing yes. Let me know how many Persian cats are you going to be trying to go and get in Adopt Me's update. Me, I'm going to try and go for 100 because why not? Follow me on Instagram for behind the scenes and giveaways inside of Adopt Me. My username is at AJP. And when you go and buy Robux, be sure to go and type out the star code of candy. You lose absolutely nothing and it helps to go and support me as a Roblox creator. Click this video here to see Adopt Me, Last to Leave the Circle wins their dream pet for free. Go watch it now.